Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Red76 and I'm back. It's been a little while. I'm sorry. I've been very busy with work, personal life, and just priorities, you know. So I haven't really spent a whole lot of time playing World War II. I did, however, pre-order Black Ops 4. I'm ready for that. I pre-ordered Battlefield 5 too, so I'm ready for that as well. So lots of uh, gaming this fall for sure, but I have been on and off this game for the Attack of the Undead. I'm glad I didn't miss it. It's just been it's been sporadic, so I haven't really had a chance to really get into it as much. But I did earn my you know, my rewards here, just like everybody did. So. I probably should go ahead and collect these. <laughs> and these were these were older. These were for the for the other uh, community event. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm do these supply drops real quick. Ludicrous display last night. Gary's thinking, sending their convoy out that early. I think those boxes, the, the supply drops, lag there, were from Twitch, partially, maybe? Not sure. Weapon charm bribe, heroic uniform bribe, resistance bribe, winter bribe, epic supply drops. We come watch. So my chances are higher. I don't know. I don't know if that actually works or not, but I try. I like that they still do winter bribes. That's cool. Epic! Epic! Cool. And don't forget, today is June 12th, and I don't know when I'm going to be able to get this video out. Hopefully, I can get it out either today or tomorrow. It's been incredibly busy. And I just moved, so I've been trying to unpack slowly but surely. I still have a lot of boxes left. And I just haven't had time to mess with gaming as much. And I'm trying. Heroic! Cool. I'm trying to keep up. So I realize I haven't been... Keeping up with all the events and everything, the dates and the schedule. Huh, I wonder if the silverback has anything to do with zombies from Black Ops. That's cool. Alright, so let's get to it. That way we're not wasting time here. I've never met a man I couldn't kill, and neither will you if you use my gear. Now what'll it be? Nice. Alright, so, Attack of the Undead ends in 13 days, so you might want to get on here, start collecting every four hours, and you get 200 armory credits each time, so set a timer, you know, I do that on my phone, actually, I'm not kidding, I set a timer, and, and you could rack this stuff up pretty good, I mean, I, I want to say the most I ever got was like 25, maybe, I don't think I've ever gotten to, up to, to, uh, was it 25? No, that's, that can't be right. 10, yeah, 25. I never, I never got up to 30. But I racked it up. I racked up a lot of money, and I was able to purchase a lot of stuff over time. Um, I didn't get to do so well on the 
on Blitzkrieg. And yeah, actually I did. I got two of them. I thought they had did they not have Operation uh, Shamrock and Awe? Where is that? Is that under special? Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, so I did. I got that. I thought I was losing my mind. I wasn't seeing it here, so I guess it's under special. So anyway, you got these four. You got the Fire Axe, the Nambu Type 2, the Undead Warden, PTRS-41, which I am totally going for that. That was an awesome rifle on Call of Duty World at War. And that just looks sick. I like that. It even has... It has nails sticking out of it. That's so cool. And I just got a new graphics card and a new monitor, so I'm seeing detail like no other. And, I mean, this looks amazing. So, got to rack up the points a bit. I don't know that I will make this in 13 days, but you never know. That's pretty cool. Deathbringer... That looks pretty cool too. Close to medium range weapon. And fire axe, which I would like to have that too. I like melee weapons, so that would be nice to have. And that's, I think, what the zombies are using during the game modes. Okay, so here is Relic of the Undead, hold the zombie relic to, sco to score, so it's their head. I think it's a skull or a head or something. We played Infected earlier this week, and you should see the video. I, haven't, I don't think I've posted this yet, but it'll be posted by the time you see this video. Uh, survive against player-controlled zombies that are dead, set on infecting and converting all remaining humans. I can't remember if I showed you this or not, but we did Ghost in the House, and another one just recently and I, it, it, I think you have seen this one but it was another one after this and I can't remember the name of it now uh, yeah it's not here Horde Point that's what it was Horde Point was pretty cool I liked it there's a lot of zombies that pop up when you're trying to hold the the hard point area so you have seen this you haven't seen this yet but it will be posted before this video so, I'm going to go ahead and show you Relic of the Undead. I have not played this yet, so I don't know what to expect, except from what I've read. So, let's check this out. gun is pretty cool, but I can't... Every time I get my hands on that thing, I die lately. Coming. Get to cover. Screw that. Oh. Oh, you. Damn. I. I. It, okay, so it replaces your knife. Or it replaces mine. Fall back. Retreat. Retreat. I guess you have to go back and pick up your gun. Or maybe whatever gun you. Uh, my 
knife, so I wonder if you can go back and pick up your secondary or whatever weapon it replaces. So your team's not gay, they don't like to play with ball. So your team's not... That was interesting. This ought to be interesting. I still haven't seen this skull or head or whatever it is they're talking about.
Moving the target. <laughs> So, from what I understand, this game mode requires you to, who, I, I guess, whoever has the, the skull the longest gets the most points. That's what it looks like. It says souls, so I don't know. Shiny shoes. <laughs> I don't know if it's just whoever holds on to it, or if you have to make passes and that gives you more points, or what. I'm not really sure. I didn't see, like, a goal or any specific area, but from what I understand, you just have to have the skull the longest, or one team has to have it the longest to accumulate points. So, there you have it. That's Relic of the Undead. Hopefully that kind of helped you out a little bit, gives you an idea of what it is. And uh, so I'm assuming we only have... Oh, were you expecting someone else? Well, I am all you've got, mate. And trust me, with the goods I have here, I'm all you'll ever need. <laughs> we'll have uh, 13 days left of Attack of the Undead. So you have that much time to get one of these or all of them if you have enough points and play the other modes. They've been rotating them out. So, uh, like, they got DLC 2... Uh, DLC Pack 2, Mosh Pit, and you can play these different modes, Hardcore, Team Deathmatch, Domination, Hardpoint, and Kill Confirmed, and Operation Husky 24-7. And then the party games. It's cool that they kept Prop Hunt. And featured. So got Carantan, Shipment, Groston House. That was fun. I liked that. Infected is pretty cool. Horde Point was uh, challenging, but I liked it. And this is pretty cool, too. I'm still trying to get the hang of it, but I like it. So, and I like how they made everything zombified with stitches and it's kind of broken up. That's so cool. First time we've ever seen zombies mix with multiplayer for Call of Duty. So, I think that's pretty awesome that Sledgehammer Games decided to do that. Anyway, I am out of here. Until the next video, I'm sorry for the late uh, video here. I'm sorry for being behind. Um, but I've got two videos coming, and like I said, you're going to see this after I post it. And then you'll get to see this, obviously, afterwards. So, two videos. I don't know if they're going to do any other game modes or not. But definitely check all of these out under Featured. Grossen House, Infected, Horde Point, and Relic of the Undead. I will see you guys later. Until next time, take it easy, guys.